Hello and welcome to the second Card Hunter video dev diary. Deck building is a huge part of any collectible card game, so this week I'm going to show you a little bit about how the deck builder works in Card Hunter. So here we are in your keep, which is where you keep all your items. And this is my giant collection of things that I own. You can see there's a large, very large number of them there. The left hand side of the deck builder is my party and each character in my party has their own sheet. And on the character's sheet, at the top, you can see um, a bunch of slots, and this is where I put items to equip that character. Below that is my deck, um, which is, of course, all the cards that are, this character can play in a battle. Now, I make that deck by equipping items into these slots. And you can see here is uh, a default item that this character started with. It's a pretty crappy item. It's a blunt sword with six fairly weak cards that came from it. The empty slots also put cards into my deck, and these cards are even worse. So, for example, my plain old boots just gives me three war cards in my deck. So let's say I want to replace one of these empty slots with an actual item. If I click on that slot, I'm now filtering my giant item collection just into items that fit into that slot, in this case weapons. I can click on any of these weapons to see more clearly what kind of cards come from it. So for example this Club of Devastation has four really good attack cards and a couple of um, drawback, black drawback cards. Um, but I might actually want to take those drawbacks in order to get access to these devastating blows. So to equip that item, I just drag it over onto the slot, and I'm now getting a comparison between the cards that come from that item and the cards that come from that empty slot. So that's a pretty good trade. I'm going to drop that item into that slot, and you can see now I've got those cards in my deck. That's a very basic introduction to the Card Hunter deck builder. Next week I'll talk about some of the more advanced features of this, and if you have any questions about the way it works, please leave a comment on this video or stop by our forums and let us know what you'd like to hear more about. Thanks.